Hello, my name is Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Thanks for watching today. And today, I want to talk about some pretty exciting stuff coming up. And I know what you're saying. You're saying, Patricia, you say that every time. And yeah, things are happening, but it's not all exciting. Well, guess what? We're about to turn the corner on this. And I know I even said, I've said that before. This is really the time that we're coming into where harvesting all of our hard work is going to start paying off and paying off big time. So today is September 8th. It is the full moon. It's the last of three super moons for this summer. And as we're approaching the vernal equinox, September uh, 22nd into 23rd, September 23rd, we you're going to start to see some things like really change and take off. Now, a couple of things to know. Uh, what's going to happen? Well, first of all, a lot of you who have been waiting or feeling like you're waiting in the wings, it's your time. It's your time for uh, your union with your twin, this is going to mean a reading encounter. And uh, those of you from the same lineage as I am, from the Magdalene Jeshua Soul Group, from the Blue Ray Illumined Twin Flames, and just to answer some questions, you know, what's an Illumined uh, Twin Flame? An Illumined Twin Flame, by definition, is uh, an entity or a soul who has for their own evolution and soul growth, opened up and explored at least 95% of their DNA, even for a microsecond, even if you opened it, you experienced an environment and left. This, this counts. It all counts towards uh, what we're doing here, which is bringing it to another level. We've always planned to evolve ourselves. We've always planned to take ourselves from this unformed thing uh, with all this potential into an a really higher ascended. And many of us have lived as ascended beings. And yes, the blue rays are the ones who have been ascended. And yes, some of us have been living in third density, not all of it by our choice. Yes, things have happened to us. There's no way of sugarcoating some of the stuff that has happened to us. Some of it's been horrific. Some we were even the perpetrators of. And doing the woulda, coulda, shoulda, or the blame game does not resolve it or suit our purpose right now. What resolves it is focusing on being the love. And so the other part of this is that, yes, the blue rays are now the healed healers moving into their union and into oneness with their twin. And a lot of you would love to have a guarantee. Well, guess what your guarantee is? I have a guarantee for you, and you're going to love it. Your guarantee is that you will get to the fifth dimension when you have merged with your beloved. And so this needs to be your focus. It needs to be your focus that, you know, everything is getting cleared out of the way. Anything that comes up, you and your beloved yourselves are triggering the things that come up. And some of you were really wise with your plan. You know why? Because you, were, you had the wisdom and the foresight to know that having prepared, you actually uh, kept some distance so that maybe you had a touch and go. And the things that popped up, the things that were triggered out, your angers, past life scenes, um, fears, fears of them, them afraid of you. All of this gets popped out. Some of you plan to be with soulmates so that you would have a safety zone. You would have a place to safely live maybe until you were activated, maybe until you were awakened. But here's another thing to know is that a while back we had a crossroads where there were some hard decisions being asked of a lot of you, really hard decisions, uh, geographic moves, job changes, or retirement, or changing countries where you lived, or divorces, breakups, any kind of breakup, or 
changing habits, things like smoking, drinking, drug use, etc. Working with yourself or your beloved for other things, illnesses, disease. And I do talk to some people who are great about their physical maintenance. I applaud you. But those of you who may have, out of fear, procrastinated with either the medical community, you haven't had some of your tests on your organs, you've never had a mammogram, you've never had a prostate exam, you've never had a pap smear, take care of yourself. It's time. It's time for you to be a sovereign being. You have to know that Things have shifted sufficiently that for a lot of you, even if you don't have health coverage, there might be a program in your area or uh, a one day or a one week event where you could get some kind of care, some kind of attention. Take advantage of what's been established. Take advantage of what's been created. Because how has this stuff been created? It's by us bringing the love in that knocks down those doors that enables people to open their hearts and donate and set up the things. Take advantage of it. But we're going a step further here. This is exactly the time where the charities, they're great. They've served a purpose. The organizations, everything's shifting around because why? We have pulled our heart and soul out of it. Some of you are grieving the loss of things that you felt very connected to. You're grieving past lives. You're grieving civilizations where everything fell apart. A lot of us are. The deep sadness, it's real. It's real. It was some real pain. I'm not going to invalidate that for you. But what I am here to tell you is you've crossed over the threshold into the new. And that means yes. Fresh starts with everything. And I even said that a while back. Well, guess what? The time is here and now to put it into action. I told you uh, back in uh, April and May, we're coming into some fresh starts. Time for a fresh start. Well, for me, it started in June, really acknowledging some fresh starts with um, family relationships, that I didn't have to act and behave as if things had happened all my life, that they had all those patterns. I actually found I was able to be forthright, direct, speak my truth, or say no, say no to invitations or family gatherings, and just say no, I feel like it's too much for me. And I got complete acceptance. And that hadn't happened before. I used to get guilt or obligation. And a lot of you have to keep sticking your foot in the water, keep testing the temperature, while you keep acting and behaving as though it's new. Because Everything is getting ready to be new and renewed. I had a dream a couple weeks ago, and I understood in the context of the dream what it was. I was at a, a car show, but the cars were lovingly restored antiques, and these floodwaters came, and people were ignoring it. They were ignoring the water that was damaging their lovingly restored vehicles. So what is this symbolic of? It's symbolic of you, your, your Merkaba, your brand new light body, and maybe some people or their counterparts still damaging it with habits and behaviors or allowing certain things. And I'm, I'm going to talk a, a about a few things here. So for the uh, Illumin Blu-ray twins, please know that those of you who are ready, who've prepared and you know and you've been waiting and you're saying, how's this going to happen? I'm going to need a miracle. The miracles are going to start happening. Some of it you're going to participate in. How do you participate? You go to the, you get a move on, okay? You go to the place of where you you know your twin goes and I have several people that I'm personally aware of who are actually getting on a plane or either got on a plane already and for this stretch for this new moon they're touching down in the place where their twin lives and they are taking advantage of placing themselves right there to create their union and yes they're expecting a miracle and yes it's going to happen and I don't doubt them because those are the powerful creators we are. We are the powerful healers. We've been healing ourselves and our beloved. The only way that you are going to finish your healing, if you are a twin flame, if you are an illumined twin flame, and particularly if you are from the Blu-ray and the Magdalene Jeshua lineage, it's by putting yourself physically together with your twin. 
and it's happening what's also happening is you're collapsing all your timelines so all of the would have could have should have or this is going to go along forever no crossing over the threshold means you are in your new life and it's here now to start creating and for those of you who've had your twin come around and you say they're not really saying they love me but they're acting like we're just conversing guess what that's your fresh start that's your brand new and it's them acting and behaving as if you are the one that they trust in the entire universe they're gonna share they're gonna blurt out the things that they know they may not know the same things that you do you're supposed to complement each other in having your complementary gifts so get a move on if you are not near your beloved you do things like this you know this is um, this is a connection for me with my beloved um, this is a soda bottle from Hawaii it's got sand in there from Hawaii this is a part of how we're doing this this is me connecting with that grid point this was a gift brought to me by a friend I didn't have to travel there pay attention to the things that people give you or gift you this is the universe helping you really easily make all the connections heal all the places that you've had with your beloved so that it's safe again so that when you go when I go to this place and I've actually been to Hawaii twice but when I go there with my beloved it's going to be all brand new all you know a brand new adventure it's not going to trigger out our past life stuff and go oh my god you were killed here or this happened or whatever it's going to be brand new all of those memories have been archived so know what is connected to your beloved people places things that are lovely the loveliness not the ick okay not the stuff that's icky and painful you have to know okay so the other illumined angelic twins the ones of the other color colored rays and there's a lot of you in my readings this is coming out and it's pretty exciting because the readings themselves have taken on this acceleration there's so much new information coming through it's exciting and um, I've been very excited for my clients and you're all doing fabulous thank you to those who have had a reading or a session with me because um, I read the energy fields and it's very fluid but I'm starting to see what what you're gonna do with your beloved the timelines all of your timelines are collapsing so especially for the blue rays all all the this is supposed to be linear not the tinier <sighs> all the linear timelines are collapsing like dominoes boom 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 everything's collapsing behind you if you try to reach back you're gonna find it's not fulfilling you're gonna find that it actually it's been unplugged you're gonna be like I used to know how to work this or this used to work for me it used to feel good guess what you got to keep pushing yourself into the new you can't create the new by reaching into the old timelines for old things old habits behaviors or ways of working things those were survival methods you're getting ready to thrive which actually requires less effort guess what less effort friends will bring you stuff pay attention be aware in the words of one of my favorite guides be aware be aware of what the universe is showing you I got another thing to show you in my walks which I take a walk to clear I found two feathers this is a blue jay feather this was screaming blu-ray to me and flying away we're gonna fly soon but the other one I got I found this is a cardinal feather it's actually from a, a female cardinal so the red and the blue are getting ready to fly away and those are those of us of the blue ray and the, the Magdalene Jeshua lineage getting ready to fly and yes several people I know got on a plane so the other illumined angelic twins and uh, this is also uh, people that when I do my readings I have a gift 
by virtue of being a twin flame, it's a high level gift. And yes, there is a huge value to it. It's very valuable to me. I keep myself very clear so that what I'm bringing through and telling people I feel is of the highest integrity. The divine counterparts, these are people who've never been twinned, but guess what? They're here to receive the brand new blueprint, the brand new template. They're here to receive. Everybody here is bringing something to the table. And yes, my uh, guidance has also said, in the fifth dimension, everyone works. But guess what? Not everyone works overtime. Not everyone works at a slogging, slaving position. We do what we love, and that's the difference. It, it's with less effort. It's with the passion of our heart. It's done um, from a place of love, and that, that feeds it back to us. But your real uh, fire, your real the love, everything that's poignant and sweet comes from your beloved. So um, what what's going to happen with the other angelics, the twin flames, the blue rays are getting ready to fire up the grid. What does that enable everything? Fresh infusion of love. Doors are going to close. Doors are going to open. People are going to be inspired. Some people are going to feel like the rug's been pulled out and they're going to go, hey, what happened? Be ready for those people. Be patient. Be compassionate with them. Some of them might be your family or friends. Okay, they will be able to fuse their soul once the Blu-ray twins have fired the grid. So it's most important to be the love there's a, there's a few other things going on with people as healed healers. Uh, people are finding out that as we're in this time compression, we're collapsing all the timelines, and we're, we're sort of in this spin here. And things are flinging off of us at a rapid pace. You've got to keep up with it. You're in quantum time, and so it requires, you know, feeling, really feeling the waves going with things. People are finding that they're thyroids. They're either cutting their dosages or getting off their meds. People are getting off other medications. I don't recommend it without the guidance of your medical professional. Um, people are healing some of their digestive and metabolic issues. Diabetes is still a big one. But hypoglycemia, we're kind of bringing this into balance. And again, this is primarily at this time for the blue race. And it's not like a pick and choose, like, you know, oh, well, the divine chose the blue race. No, we are the creators. We're also the forerunners. We are also the ones firing the grid. So it's important that, yes, we be the healed healers that we are. We are natural healers. But we're here to heal ourselves. And that's very important to remember. First and foremost, you are here to heal yourself and your beloved. And then, yes, do your part. You're not here to vacuum off everything. You're not here to vacuum off your family. You're not supposed to walk into a room or a meeting and vacuum everyone off and have an awful night. Really be discerning if you're done with their, your grid and you're done with your transmuting. And if you're not, you'll know if there's still things for you to do. So once we crossed, crossed over the threshold, a lot of people had an awful bumpy weekend. And it took myself like two days to really understand what was going on until I was like, ah, oh, that's all the junk from my grid point. I mean, I went and did the last of the grid point and it was beautiful. I was down at the beach. That's where one of the points of my grid is. It's connecting the beach here, a beach in Florida and the, the beach in Hawaii and Chicago. And so as everything is going here, it's all gaining a momentum. It's all, it's just picking up steam here. Do not hold in your anger. Express your anger. Listen, there was a thing that I learned because um, growing up, when we get angry, we got in trouble. But what I actually found was the right way to express anger. First of all, it has to be for a really good reason that you're angry, where you're letting the person know or you're letting someone know. It doesn't mean like you're, ooh, you're so hot-tempered and that's so sexy. 
It's not sexy anymore. Take a look around. This is not sexy. You know, turn on the news. Don't turn on the news. <laughs> it's not sexy. Neither is brooding. But the thing is, is if you express your anger, express it. Be direct. Don't do some of the patterns in your family. Don't do sarcasm. Don't do uh, guilt or hurt feelings. Express your anger and say it. This is the platform from which you will jump off and gain your dignity. If you're having trouble letting go of anger, do some gratitude. Say that you're thankful that you're here on the planet with your beloved. Out of all the places in the universe, just like that film, out of all the places in the universe, they had to walk into my life. Well, guess what? Be grateful. Be grateful. Because the universe is going to make this as easy as pie for you. You're here in the same place, on the same timeline, for a brand new life. And that's another thing. Um, really, only twin flames or people who are aware of the twin flame will know about twin flames. So if you're getting um, any help from people, and more and more, there may be fewer people that can actually help you because intrinsically you are your own healer. You are um, with some ability to heal yourself. Still, get your acupuncture if you need it. Go to someone for some hands-on stuff. Get a reading if you feel it, and I'll tell you why. Be respectful of those people and be discerning because you are bringing your entire heart and soul here into the physical. It is the divine into the material world. That is how we are doing this. That is how we are sending this planet. And yes, it has a value. So if there is someone that knows, and by now, you better have your baloney detector geared up and ready. Because if, if you are feeling like someone is stringing you along, or there's someone that will tell you, um, I had this experience with a friend, I drove a friend, and the person that they went to said that their twin was uh, you know, dark and evil. They were not able to discern the difference between the darkness of everything that had to be transmuted in the union and the actual twin because you should always see even underneath the crud even underneath earth's habits and behaviors or their physical appearance the golden shining heart of your twin and that's what you hang your hat on that is what you go with each and every time and if there's someone who is not doing that with you and for you or trying to say that they have more power than you have um, over someone. Uh, someone who is, is working with you should want to work with you in a way to empower you. In other words, where you walk away and you feel good and you don't feel like, well, maybe I didn't need that or maybe, you know, I don't know what ha just happened. And you may not know because everything is so new. Everything is so new. We are the ones creating it. There's going to be people that are able to see the colors of the chakras, the brand new chakras. There's going to be people that are able to read the energy fields. There are people that are going to be able to tell you how to um, live in harmony with your beloved. And there are people that are going to have you know, some of the other information about the physicality of, of things. Um, things about time, things about uh, other stuff. And I will say that whatever it takes for you, I highly recommend that you do it. Not all of it is going to cost money, but if it costs you something, realize that there is fair value and that uh, there are people that, yes, sometimes have spent years of living in a certain way so that they can help and that they're here. They're here ready to do their part. And maybe they're only going to do their part for a couple years. And then it'll be their turn. Just like right now, it's your turn. So never say never. Um, what people call spiritual growth for this ascension, particularly for uh, Blue Rays and Twin Flames, it is actually your physical growth as well, because you have a brand new angelic body. A um, couple other things that are coming up for people. 
your solar plexus. Many of you are finishing by popping out your anger, all of the stuff held in your liver because that's a new connection. That's a chakra. Some of you are having gallbladder issues. Well, we're merging this section together. The pancreas, gallbladder, um, and liver connection is being merged and eventually it's going to look like one big ball of light. Um, while we're going through it, it's important to um, pay attention to your relationship with wheat, uh, some of it with dairy, and even, um, believe it or not, beef. And for those of you who do are vegetarians, I'm going to say this, all of this body work is probably going to make you really want more protein. Figure out the way that you're going to do it because honestly, all with all of your DNA um, becoming, you know, from two strand and gearing up to four or six strand DNA, sometimes it's going to take something a little bit more. So really feel out what it is that, that you need. And, you know, maybe some extra greens isn't going to cut it. You might actually have to, you know, do something. Um, part of the reason that this is, is that there is many times a disparity, particularly for Blu-ray Illumin Twin Flames, where one of them has a certain lifestyle and the other one is different. Uh, there's many times, you know, these, these real high and lows. You know, one could be famous or one could be well off or very successful. The other one is tripping through all kinds of illnesses, having trouble just scraping the money together to make ends meet. And you have a real disparity there. We're collapsing even that. And part of the reason is, is you're not intended to create in the old way. The person usually without the money is the one who's going to lead for the new creation and the new abundant flow. And yet you still need each other. Um, this is sort of providing the platform and the bridge and you've stepped up and over onto the threshold. So even those of you who've been trying to manifest or you're saying, you know, um, the law of attraction doesn't work for me. You know why? You're a twin. You need the other half of you. All of your abundant flow is going to come from being with your twin and merging. And many of you are going through many merges. In fact, a lot of you Blu-rays, guess what? If we put you together right now, you would merge on the spot and get out of here. But that's not serving the purpose of firing the grid. That's what we are here to do. That's our original agreement once uh, a while back, and I'm talking probably a couple million years, to ascend Gaia, fire the grid. So all of those sacred sites that you hear about or that you might have even visited, guess what? Your grid is your new sacred site. And some of you have a really large one. Maybe it's triangular and it covers three different places, and you know about this. And others of you, you might say, well, I think it's just this area where I live. And um, there's stuff happening everywhere. When we start to infuse the love here by firing the grid, guess what? You're going to start to see more things happen. But things should start to shift around to being better. And I know for sure that we are healing Atlantis and Lemuria. A good friend who uh, moved there sent me this vintage postcard. And if you look at what it says, it says Hawaii, Atlantis, and then Honolulu, California. I mean, I'd never seen this. Where do you see a reference to Atlantis on something having to do with Hawaii? Because that was originally a part of Lemuria. And we're, it's the commingling. We're healing all of that. We're healing Lemuria. We're healing Atlantis. We're healing, you know, everything we've done to each other. And, and yeah, I'm just going to say this really briefly. There was some dark stuff. Do not let it deter you. Keep pushing forward. You know, there's, there's still dark stuff happening. Everything you see on the media is stuff that's been perpetrated, and it's all popping out. It's coming in really intense and fast to get it gone. There's nothing hidden anymore. Anything, any subtle little thing that has been hidden, it's coming out to be gotten rid of. So please have a lovely full moon. Enjoy. Enjoy your harvest. Um, 
I'm going to just share this. I, I came across this ad, and this just spoke volumes. This was actually for a mattress. New skin, same soul. You and your twin are the same soul. So you're going to have new skins, new skins, new bodies, new Merkaba, a new place to, new way to travel, a new means, all new abundance. And those of you who've uh, prepared yourself, you're going to go and you're going to come back. You're going to be like that person who shows up and they're like, oh, I've got a bag of gifts. And you're just going to dump it out here. Other people are going to walk into it. Just like they walk into your grid. When you fire the grid, when they're at the right vibration, boom, they get that inspiration. So never say never. Expect miracles. This is going to take a miracle. But guess what? They've already started. So have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and uh, I look forward to bringing you more information. There's a lot happening, and now that we're in the new, there is going to be new stuff to cover. We're not covering the same old stuff. Jump off. Get yourself up over the threshold and stop looking at the same old thing or the same, you know, really Feel it with your heart. You're like, wasn't this the saying, uh, why am I having deja vu? Didn't I do this last year? Yeah. Bringing full circle. That's the collapsing the timelines. You're bringing everything full circle for most of you, especially of the Blu-ray. And yeah, my message today is particularly geared to the Blu-rays. Um, I know you people, I know some of you by now, and some of you love numbers, some of you love metrics, and that's a teeny bit of a distraction for you. But the thing is, is the metrics are here. We've reached critical mass, and, he, and I'll tell you, 1.1 million people worldwide, you know, 1.1 twin couples worldwide, it's not a big number in the whole grand scheme of things. That's why when you talk to your family and friends or can't talk to them and you want the support, they're not there because your experience is different than theirs. They're not experiencing it yet. You know why? got to fire the grid. You have to be in your union so the gift that you're lovingly giving them is able to be felt and experienced by them. So yes, all of the passion, all of the fire, all of the watery, all of the beautiful you know, flow of emotions, the poignancy, the rawness, the sweetness, you know, everything in between. Everything is going to be there because that's a gift that we have. Health, abundance, and yeah, material things. Make make sure that you yourself are getting yourself out there and get ready for your abundant flow, a lot of which is going to come through the etheric realm. This is, this is kind of a joke. This is actually, I went to eat with a friend of mine, and we're both Blu-rays. Uh, we took our kids. Red Royalty. And it was so funny because the waitress said to us, Oh, do you have your red royalty cards? And we looked at each other and we said, red royalty? Because that to us just speaks Magdalene Joshua soul group. And we laughed and the waitress said, what's so funny? And, they, and we just said, no, we're not red royalty, but we love to be. So she went and got us each a card. And it's, it's for a hamburger restaurant. I mean, it's, it's for a place that, you know. But guess what? Your abundant flow. If you haven't started, try again. Try and obtain some credit for yourself because for some of you, that's how the flow is going to start up. And a lot of what tightened up years ago, seven years ago, five years ago, guess what? The love is opening the doors again. Okay, keep sticking your foot in the water and check the temperature. Have a wonderful day. Bye now.